Maybank IB's Head of FX Research, Sati Andi Supat expects the ringgit to hover around 4.7 to the dollar in the first quarter of 2024. The ringgit is currently at 4.72 against the dollar, aligning with its forecast since late November last year. Maybank IB anticipated it to strengthen to the 4.60 to 4.70 range against the dollar by second quarter and reach 4.40 against the dollar by year end. The ringgit faces challenges due to negative yield differentials and global equity flows, but could see upside in the latter part of 2024 driven by domestic economic developments and supportive foreign direct investment. Um, ringgit is uh, currently at the 472 level against the dollar. Um, our forecast for ringgit um, is actually close to these levels. We are looking at uh, dollar ringgit actually in the first quarter of uh, 2024 uh, hovering around 470. Uh, we, we've actually uh, forecasting this uh, levels since uh, late November last year and actually it's panning out right now. But um, the question is um, whether uh, these levels will remain as it is. Our view is um, we are looking at dollar ringgit is essentially uh, sort of falling back towards the 460 to 470 range uh, by uh, second quarter of this year before uh, ending 2024 at about 440. I just want to highlight that uh, currency, um, the uh, the ringgit actually remains a, a major underperformer, uh, largely undervalued, we think. Um, and uh, there's a possibility that I think in terms of um, ringgit potentially seeing a swing around if things uh, soften uh, or ease on the dollar front as well. So our, our view is in terms of external position of uh, the ringgit, uh, despite um, the concerns on, on, on the pair or dollar ringgit pair, uh, the external position of the currency is actually quite robust. If you look at the current account, uh, it has recently maintained a surplus over the last few years. Uh, trade balance also have uh, stayed uh, in surplus. Uh, exports growth, uh, although we, we're seeing a bit of uh, softness uh, globally, uh, it still stays uh, reasonably strong as well. Uh, but, and, and then one of the factors that has been driving this, uh, the dollar ringgit, obviously, between the US and uh, um, Malaysia is the... Uh, 10-year yield differentials between Malaysia and uh, US Treasuries. Uh, it has turned negative, which in some ways have weighed on the ringgit. As you know, uh, US uh, yields have been uh, are much higher than um, uh, than than regional currencies, reg regional sort of uh, bonds in terms of the yields. Uh, and similarly for Malaysia as well, it has weighed because on the MGS uh, and in terms of the OPR side of uh, Malaysia, it has remained quite uh, flat with uh, no significant uh, hikes uh, by uh, Bank Negara or, or any moves on Bank Negara in terms of policy. So in, in terms of yield differentials, wider yield gaps have actually definitely played a, a role. Um, the other thing about the Malaysia is in terms of assets or flows into assets, uh, bond flows have been actually been quite positive for most of 2023, in some sense providing support uh, to the ringgit. But globally, in terms of equity flows in the region, I think weak appetite of uh, weak foreign appetite for uh, Malaysian stocks uh, have actually uh, sort of weighed down on the currency. Although we're seeing uh, some positive developments of uh, interest into Malaysian assets. So overall, our view is um, we think in terms of fair value of the currency, uh, there could uh, be potentially uh, further upside into Malaysia into the latter part of 2024 uh, as we see a softer fair and um, uh, in terms of Fed rates, uh, eventually seeing dollars sort of softening. So a lot of external factors that could see a turnaround, uh, but also in terms of uh, positive developments out of domestic economic support in terms of more medium term FDI, uh, positive support factors that in terms of um, implementation of some of the announced uh, budget and Madani economy sort of drivers, infrastructure drivers, which could help uh, the currency largely towards the later part of 2024 in our view. Uh, but I think before I end, I just want to highlight, we can't run away from the fact of the China um, recovery uh, factor um, weighing down on the currency or in the regional currencies as well. Uh, until that sort of uh, sort of picks up in terms of growth, um, I think it continues to weigh on regional currencies, in including the ringgit as well. Uh, our, our view for um, uh, sort of uh, ringgit, we, I said just now it's undervalued. It's undervalued by about 6% or so, 6 to 7%. Uh, by right, I think in terms of fair value, if you take to consideration Malaysia's um, uh, sort of fundamentals uh, and net foreign assets and uh, sort of factors that drive uh, a currency in the medium to long term, 
uh, but we actually would think that ringgit should be based on that and we removing all the noise uh, it should be closer towards the 410 to 430 range um, uh, in the medium to long term uh, at, uh, based on those uh, uh, numbers or into uh, in, in our estimates 